to what extent was your interest in health provoked by suddenly being in in a in the US health system? So it was an obvious area in which America was really a foreign country. You know, it's like if you go to the tropics, the trees are full of parrots. Well, you come to America and the trees are full of strange doctors making lots of money and doing things very differently. But, you know, one of the immediate differences is in Britain, you get sick or you get something wrong with you, you go on to your doctor, you know, you, then your doctor would filter you to see the podiatrist or the pediatrician. So you didn't even have to know what these people would call. But, you know, the British and American systems are the two ends of the extremes um, among rich countries. And so there was much to explore there. Are you pessimistic about the potential for reform of the American healthcare system? You know, people say to me, what would you do instead? Well, I'd say, well, there's a lot of other systems around the world. Um, you can pick and choose any of them, one of them you want. They're all different. Different countries handle this in different ways. But what you don't want is the one we have now. Um, and I'm afraid that COVID, by having sort of sanctified the pharma companies, you know, who went from um, killing people through addiction and, you know, um, pumping out opioids um, for enormous profit um, to being, you know, real criminal villains, to being seen as the heroes. And all their defenders are now screaming in the newspapers saying, you know, people ought to apologize to pharma. Um, for everything who guided them, and they're our saviors, and the American system is what we need. So I don't see any prospect for immediate reform, um, even with an administration that understands these issues very well. <laughs>